just hope you're having a great day today. All right, I am in my car. It is early. I don't even know what time it is. It is seven o'clock right now, 7.15. I'm up early. Well, I didn't get up super early. Five o'clock super early. I got about 6.30 and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get up. I am a loner today. So this will be interesting and fun. I don't think I've ever gone to the discount store by myself. I don't think I've ever gone. That's what I'm gonna do today. I'm super, super excited. I'm just going through, seeing what we need and what we have. I'm like, I'm definitely downsizing because of lack of kids in the home. <laughs> <laughs> which is a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead down to South Carolina, nice peaceful drive, got my phone, I'll listen to some messages and just have some good mommy quiet time. That's good time, moms. Once in a while, if you can do that, I get that. I understand. I haven't been able to do that for many, many years until my kids got older. So take heart, moms. Those kids grow up and you'll get a little bit of a break, I promise. <laughs> But for me today, I'm going to get a break and Lauren is going to have the kids. So she gets them, gets to have a fun day with them. And then I'm going to go try to see what kind of discounts I can find and get ourselves some just more filling. This is more of the, maybe they'll have something really great and I'll stock up on tons of stuff and then have snacks and stuff. That's usually this kind of trip goes and we'll just see what we can find. But discount store is always great to go to. So I'm going to bring you along. We're going to head to South Carolina right now. It is 67 degrees here and my car is showing. I don't know what it's going to be down there. It's usually always hotter. So we're going to see. So you guys ready for a good grocery shopping at the discount store? All right, let's go. Let's go down the mountain to the flat. South lands. Carolina. It matters so much that we honor and reverence the Lord because he said You've arrived Got to my destination, which is awesome. So such a peaceful drive. You know, it's one of those times where you're by yourself and you get that moment to like breathe and just have some quiet time and got to listen to a beautiful message and just that encouragement and it's just awesome. So ah, loving today. So today should be, I'm gonna try to do a peaceful shopping trip. Usually it's like, okay, hurry, cause I gotta get back. And I do have to get back, but I'm hoping that I can uh, do this. You know, we'll, we'll see how the peacefulness goes. It might just be crazy because they might have some deals. I might have to hurry, but there's not a lot of people here, which is good. Gotta get my mask out here. So I'm gonna go in and see what I can find, see if I film even in the store. We'll just see how life goes. So let's go in and see what kind of deals we can find. Girls love those. Let me get those. I've got two of these at home, but I'll get another one for $3. This is like a dollar $1.50. I'll get this for a treat. Steven's birthday's coming up, so that'll be a good treat. I got some molasses because at Christmas time I like to make, um, you know, gingerbread. So this was $4 for this jar. There's these good pickles. They got this. Look at this. I bet you this is good. Not sure. First aisle, I got some noodles because I have teenagers and they were $4 a box. I got a lot of cans. A lot of like random like lima beans. I don't usually find those very good. Kidney beans, baked beans, um, green beans, corn, and found some good dressings. Look at these six sisters, five sisters for 79 cents. I'm going to try it. And I got one of these. This was only 49 cents. So, and then I found these. Remember I got these? And they had the fish sauce in it. So I'm gonna try them, I don't know. This one had like a shrimp one in it. They were three for a dollar. And I got some good tortillas, two for a dollar. So let's go see what else we can find. That was just a slow walk down the aisle. Look at that tamarind pulp, threw it two for a dollar. I just bought that off Amazon to get all the money. I don't need any, so let's got fish stuff. But here it is. All right, they have hollandaise sauce, three for a dollar. And then look at, they have a lot of pumpkins. So I'm gonna get this pumpkin pie, but I'm sure they have pumpkin up here. They do, and their pumpkin's only 79 cents. So I'm gonna get some of that ultimate egg breakfast. You just add the spices. They have peaches and cream baked oatmeal, slow cooker, apple salmon for three for a dollar. That's kind of neat. I don't usually get that, so I won't, but just kind of neat things I get to see today. It's only 89 cents. We don't usually, we haven't done Sloppy Joe's in a long time. This is the conjunction of filming for 89 cents. Because it's four for a dollar, that's why. I got some fun pastas because they're 59 cents. Mini wheels. Got some more elbow because it's 59 cents. And some more shells because it's a good deal. All right, let's go next up. Oh, their spices are so cheap. They're like 89 cents. So these are really good spices. I use them for everything, but I don't need anything today, which is good. A lot of this like edible Play-Doh. Edible grass. Interesting. Kids must love playing with Play-Doh. There's a whole lot of this slime, monster slime Play-Doh. Jungle Kid. So fun. We should buy these. I've never, when I tried making them, they got like all over the oven for a dollar. I'll try it. I'm sure these are 
expensive somewhere. The Nine Nine Cents ice cream cake kit. Curious Creamery. Yes. We'll make something with these for 79 cents for sure. Oh, maybe not. Actually, let's skip that. I'll get Jibelia coffee, Don I nine for five. It's like the cold brew stuff. This is coffee for $3.99 for Starbucks. If you want a Starbucks coffee. Okay, this is expensive Bobo's toaster pastry, five for a dollar. Looks all healthy and I'm sure these are expensive somewhere. Somewhere. We won't be getting bubbles, but I'm sure they're good. I'm like, what is this? Grain bar snack. Oat and grain bar mix for 12. What? Ready in 10 for $1.29? Hmm. An oat and grain bar mix. That might not be bad. What kind is this? Well, that's kind of neat for $1.29. I think we'll get one and try it. This feels crunchy. I'll get one of each for a dollar. We got an oven now. We can bake. Oh, here's a fiber one and grain bar. I'll eat those. Oh, you know this is good coconut cake, yeah, and then it's superfood. Sweet tea in a container, I bet you this is not like my southern people, but not bad. Dollar fifty-nine. Lots of crackers. I'm not gonna get any of these. I usually stock up, but I won't right now. Those little individual drink things. Not an incense for singles. Look at that, that's like sugar. <gasps> Actually, I might get that. I'm not getting it for a cocktail, but look at simple syrup because it would make your coffee. I'm just looking here. It's sugar basically, right? Hmm, I'm gonna try that. It's just sugar. Mix it in my coffees for $2? Um, yeah. Done it in. I bet you these are great too for a dollar. Sloppy chocolate snacks, superfoods, Kashi. Dollar. Great things. A whole box of crackers, just individual for five dollars. Usually they have some good of these. I like these, but they only have honey cinnamon today. Hot of crackers. I'm gonna try these for Jade and look at Lenny and Larry's for 79 cents. She likes chocolate. We got a whole bunch of them here. Mm, we'll try them. Get a couple here. They don't have, oh, they're actually right here. Here's the one she likes the Enjoy Life. Mostly grain and seed. Oh, there's the soft baked cookies. She likes these too for a dollar. Oh my goodness, look at these. Mm. I remember these as a kid. They're called Ticknick. Oh, for four dollars. Look at that big old delicious thing right there. I remember eating those as a kid, little wafers. I don't have a price, I don't know, but actually, five dollars. We don't really need that, but still, a good deal. Look at most and Doug. Scratch is at two ninety nine. They've got all kinds. The make and meal. Those are cheap. I paid five bucks on Amazon for those. Two ninety nine, people. That's a good deal. I always can use band aids. Seems like ours are gone all the time. I got tons of hand sanitizer, but it's that watery kind. It's like liquid. I got it for Jensen. Haunted ghost pepper. Oh, better get some of this. I'm ready too. I'll be a happy boy if mama comes home with that. And then it's a, they have tons of these lar bars. Three for a dollar. Tons. There's aisles and aisles. Look at They're all three for a dollar. So you can stack up and create your own, which is awesome. They always have tons of candy. Random candy. Is there a dollar for lollipops? Dollar fifty for M&M's. I'm just going to get those because Christmas will be right around the corner. We can bake with them. I mean, six months from now. Bags of dried beans at 2 13 This is really good. I like that. Get a few of these for egg noodle stuff. Maybe beef stroke out. This is a dollar nine nine. So I'm gonna get one of these because I don't have a lot of tomato sauce for two bucks. That's a deal. Oh my gosh, I grew up on this. <gasps> Check a pudding in the bag for three dollars. Actually, I might get that for my kids. I know. Sorry, it's gonna take me back to chocolate. Eating pudding out of a can. We got lots of containers for five ninety nine. So you can get big bags of these. They have tons all the way down, which is awesome. Lots of big cans of things for two ninety nine. I got enough slushy lids for 99 cents, coffee cup lids, pie filling. I had a catering business, this is eight dollars for this whole entire container. That's like a really good deal for to-go containers. I mean, and where can you find these big giant things? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to get some. Those are some good sweet potatoes. I'll get three, because it's just me eating. That's a big sweet potato. One more, these will last, we'll eat them. Good deal. You can get a whole thing of peaches for $25 for fresh peaches. That's a good deal. I don't know. Let's see. We got all their juice like Lauren has for $4. All the big ones. Ooh, those look kind of yummy. Strawberry bananas are doing your juice so she can just buy it. Some cabbage. We'll do something with it eventually. I do a broccoli for $3. The heads. I'll get some of these. Have some veggies. They have corn cut and they also have these for a dollar. I'm gonna get some of these. I'm gonna head to the uh, 
little, what's it called? Farmer's market, but until I go out get some of these to eat. For a dollar, it's a good deal. And you tip two for a dollar, I'm gonna get this. Oh my goodness, look at these. $8.99 per huge thing of meatballs. <gasps> what would you even do with that, five pounds? That's pretty good. I think I'd do something with it. $16.99 for 10 pounds of meatballs too. This has got more cheese, ooh. It might be better. Look at that. This thing just got cheese in it. That'll be delicious. I'm gonna put the other one back and get this. This is a better deal. Ten pounds, still under two dollars, less than two dollars a pound. Look at their big box of beef patties. It's fifteen dollars for twenty-four. I think we paid thirty for ours at Sam's Club. They've just got party wings for sixteen ninety-nine for a huge thing. Oyster and cheese for eight forty-nine. That's a good deal. They've got goat cheese. Oh, that was pretty good. This is good hummus. Or no, this was. Whipped cream cheese for a dollar. This is a huge box of corn dogs for $12.99. Someone open so I can see. And there's the flat bacon for $28 for a big box, 15 pounds. Sorry, kids, way too far away, but they were a good deal. Oh my goodness, $5.59. I'm gonna have to get me two of these. Okay, I don't think I'm, this is, even though this is delicious, like I feel like my kids are done with cheese. Ugh, they're cute Swiss cheese, everything. Mozzarella, I don't need any more of that. I think I know it's this is two for five, but I have plenty of it. Little party tray, this is good. I just bought that at the other store. $3.49. And it's this cheddar cheese with chipotle peppers. This is good for macaroni and cheese. Hmm. It is really good for macaroni and cheese, but that's okay, we get shredded. And their eggs are still really cheap, which is good. I've got some at home. I don't know how much this is, but I'm sure it's on sale. I'll get some of these and freeze them for holidays. I'm gonna get some of this. This is four dollars for I'm gonna get five loaves of bread for four dollars. More bread, we'll make something with it. We can make it, but it's good to have right there too. So they got ten dollars for two big old Jimmy Dean sandwiches if you really wanted that for you know, a whole case of them. Waffles for five dollars. Drive through burgers. What's that? Is that this one? Oh look at this monogrammed what are these? Oh they're they're monogrammed corn dogs. They're nine dollars for that case of them. That's a lot of corn dogs. Oh, it's breakfast bites. Wait a minute. What? Breakfast bites? Monogram breakfast bites. Batter, ground pork, turkey, and vegetable. Hmm. That might be a good deal. I think they're like right near. Let's skip that one just for a second. Here's a veggie full. What's all this? More so, oh, there's the sparkling cheddar bites for six dollars. Oh, there's one open. So I just looked these up on Target. They're four dollars for a little package. So I'm gonna get a box here for six. It says six bags. So I bet you that's a really good deal. It's like four dollars thing. I bet you they'll be really good. I'm actually gonna get two. I'm gonna be bold and get two and hope it's good. I'm sure it's delicious. Actually, here they are. Look at five for five dollars. Sparkling cheddar. That's them. <gasps> that's gonna be really good. There's six in a box. That's a good deal. All right, pancakes on a stick for three forty nine. Right, what's this for a dollar in here? A cake for a dollar? What? Um, yeah, I'll take that for a dollar. It's a sheet-based yellow white cake for a dollar. We'll get that and do some with it. Stephen Burke has come up off freeze it. All right, did that shopping. I'm in my car. It is hot now. My car shows 107 degrees. <laughs> That's how hot it is here. It was 65, I think, when I left. 107. It's warm, but oh, that was a good deal. I think my total was $200. $200 at the end, and I had two huge shopping carts. Two seventeen twenty. That was a great grocery haul. I can't wait to go home and show you the goodies I got. So, car, I got my blue bag back there, and I put my ice pack on it, and it's a reflector sheet. Basically, use it for like warmth or heat, like body heat, but I use it for my groceries. I have coolers, but that seems to work just as good for the big stuff. So now I'm gonna go head over to the other store. Great little store in there. It was so nice. It's, they play Christian music. And it's nice and um, relaxing. I definitely walked around and just enjoyed, like just at that praise and worship music playing. So it's just a beautiful time. It was good and go just look at everything. Just look with no like hurry to get done. So I like not hurried. So I'm gonna go ahead to the other one, see what we can find. It'll be good, it's like 10 o'clock. I'm doing really good. I actually got here about 8.30, so not bad for an hour and a half shopping by myself getting all these goodies. So, all right, let's go ahead to the other store.
All right, gonna, I got my next tour, so I'm gonna go again and see what I can find. i film if I got some stuff or I can show some stuff. We had just bought one, otherwise I'd get one. One of those $15.99 package. Okay. $15.99. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Sellables for $2.99. I'm actually going to get, look at that Greek inspired effect. I just don't like those Kalamato olives, but I will get Santa Fe. That's got a little chicken in it. I'll have that. That'd be a good lunch. I'm going to get a small thing of potatoes. We don't really eat that much, so I'll just get a small bag. Have, mm, those are four dollars. Mm, we still got one at home. All right, time for some granola bars. This is good for five dollars. Eat another granola bar for five dollars. I'll get a box of those. They're basically cheese crackers. These will take those to the pool for sure. These are basically for the pool. These are. Mm, we can make some cookies. Fruit ups, two for six. It's like 60 rolls. That's actually not bad. They're two for five. They're a dollar. 25 of these. Look at these last time. They're actually really good because I actually liked them for a dollar. I mean, you can't beat that. I got five for a dollar. Yes, Jaden. Oh, well, it's a dollar. I don't really need chocolate. Caramel bunnies and white bunnies for a dollar. This is a great deal. I'll definitely get these. These are cheap for a dollar for some cheese balls. It's a good deal, but I'm not going to get any. So this is two dollars each. Um, it's already made. I'll get one. It's Duncan. I'm trying. I don't have to make it. It's already done. I'll get six. That'll be two breakfast. Actually, we'll do one more. Eight. That's a good deal. A really good deal. Two bucks. These are my favorite. Three fifty. I'll get one of those. Make cheddar and bacon too. One of these. We like these. The same size come. Five for five dollars. A dollar each. We get pizza. The pizzas. It's finished. That's a good deal. I got a good store. Double hot sauce. Oh yeah. I'm sure they're delicious. It was a just in case. I'm sure they're not bad. I'm sure gonna stick with these. I never understood bacon that you can leave out. I see this everywhere. Two for three. Look at that. Two ninety nine for a humongous thing of hot sauce. Jaden, I should get you that. That's all good. I got you two little bottles. Two for a dollar, like a little single serving of peaches and mango. Great and chia for two for a buck. Apple sauce and it's five for a dollar. Look at this. Two for a dollar. I usually get refrigerator stuff, but I'll get this for two for a dollar for the pantry. All the big cans of stuff. This is like three ninety nine. I got a lot of this stuff. The beans are a dollar. I just made some though. They're so cheap. I got all the beans. They're tomato pizza sauce. This is really good. I'm gonna get some of this. Lots of goodies if I needed some stuff, but I got a lot of this, so I just wanted these. The pizza. It's a really good sauce. And I got tomato sauce at the other place. Evan, chicken ramen. We'll be in heaven. Look at these. On the go for a dollar. Mmm, I just bought some of these. Weilers. Raspberries, two for a dollar. Look at those. What is this? Focus to 79 cents below. 79 cents. That's a really good deal. Iced herbal mango, which looks good. If you like tea, there's matcha. Evan had that. This is $5.99. Hot chocolate's $2.99 for Starbucks. That's actually really good. And this, look at this. This looks really good. Green is $2.99. Oh, my girl sticks for $8.49. And this is good chicken. I've got enough chicken, so I'm not going to do this. There's still have plenty of that, so I'm not going to do any of that. And this is a really good deal. Oh, hotter than hot. I got I to gotta get it for the Jensen. Jensen, today is your day. $2 for dollars. The pickle popcorn. Ooh, the booty one. Veggie. Mixed berry. Two for dollars. Two for a dollar. What time? Really good. I had this. My girlfriend gave me this. I don't like fruit punch though. Hmm. Four, three, nine, nine. Yoohoo. There's no more of us. Remember Yoohoo? Here's taco dinner tickets for a dollar. It's got mild taco sauce seasoning and the shells. You wanted that. 
all the good these things. These are really cheap for $2.99, $3.99. It's got sea salt. Oh, it's worth a dollar twenty-nine. It's paid for that. A little bit more. Good little stuff. All oh, these. So Brooklyn would do the good pan. I'm gonna have to put up with my my arm being a little wobbly. Push the cart. Kids would love this. We'll just make some. Stuffed biscuit. That's that's what we made. There's more chicken. We got another that. Blueberry muffins for three ninety nine. Check out those frozen. It's pretty good for breakfast. These are really good and mixed with ice cream. They feel like ice cream sandwiches. They're a dollar there. Hi. We need some like twenty dollars for a big crack. It's not bad. Get this for mixing. Yeah, ten dollars. And we'll be. Look at that, $6.99 for like cheesy. Alright, I just looked this up. The mini corn dogs for two pounds is six dollars. This you get ten pounds for ten dollars. That's a way better deal. So I'm gonna hope it's good. Hopefully it's good. Alright, watch out. This served a lot of stuff. Spent a hundred dollars. An awesome trip. Today was the day of let's take a chance kind of buy. Like those veggie things and then the corn dogs. We'll just hope that they're all good, but I feel like for $300, my car is definitely full. This will be great for just filling snacks and fun things. I'm not sure how much my camera recorded because it just shut off on me. So these are just filling fun extra things. We don't go out to dinner, so this is just like snacks and treats and great thing, fun things for the pool and just enjoying and just easy because I can do easy with little kids. So my smaller group. So I'm going to go head home. We'll put everything out and show you what we got. So we got to hurry home because it's, it's getting hot. So, so much. My, my temperature did go down. It was 100 that one time. Now it's to 90. So hot. We need to go back to those mountains and go get some fresh, cool, hopefully mountain breeze. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's go back head back home. Church sometimes, and, you know, they play a song, and you 
might not love it, but that's okay. But I know that I'm worshiping. You know, worship's not about liking the song or not liking the song. Worship's about worshiping the Lord no matter what. You could do that in a in a African jungle with some drums and just playing beats and singing. That it doesn't even have to have anything. You can do it without even having musical instruments. And so, it's about your heart and what you're willing to do. And so, I know the Lord will just work through songs sometimes for me. And I'm like, oh, I know this is you, Lord, because I don't even like this song. And so, I have had a couple songs lately that've been my. Um, just at the top and I've just been hearing it over and over and one is Whole Heart by Passion. Um, I think Hillsong does a Whole Heart one which is good too but it's right at the top of my list you can get. It's Whole Heart Passion. That is just a really good reminder about our whole heart. Reminding it's not we don't need to have part of our heart for the Lord and just save what we want or you know we still want to be a different person outside of church or with that spouse or maybe with that friend and you want to treat differently than you would normally people. So it's important to keep your whole heart focused on the Lord and just knowing who you are because of who God is. And so that just, that song is just so powerful of just reminding me that like, hey, God is awesome. God is awesome. And he doesn't change. And our job is to give our whole heart to him and to watch and see what he'll do with it. And that's where it's an amazing thing. And then my second favorite song is the next one. It's called Even the Impossible. I think it's Mac Brown. Let me look here. It was up on my phone, but I found it. Mac Brown. I don't know. I don't even know who that is, but um, really good. I thought, I feel like James said, oh, anyways, I'll cut that out. I know. Even the Impossible. I ended it. It came up on my playlist one day, and it's a powerful song. You're probably going to be bouncy here. Sorry. Let me get over in the less bumpy lane here. There we go. Coming up mountains. Oh, nothing but a sight to come through. You want to see for a minute? Hold on. Look at that. That is just about the prettiest thing coming home to the mountains. All right, let's keep talking. All right, so that song is Even the Impossible. That is just a great song because I love the wording of the song. And I know they're speaking to the Lord, but it says, do what only you can. Possible is possible with you, and I think of like, yes, God can only do what He can do, but ourselves, like, we have like, God can do miracles, He can do things, and we can hold on to those promises. But we're supposed to do what we're God has called us to do. God is not just gonna sit back, like, like things are happening in this world, and everyone's like, Where is God? Where is He at? Bumpy, bumpy, you know, He's not even here, He's not doing these things, but God is still here, but people get in the way of things. You know what I mean? God has a plan. Yes, he has an ultimate plan for the earth. But the question is, are you going to be in it? You know, we have, he'll, he'll, his, his plan will still be complete on the earth with or without you or I. So it's so important to want to be part of that and to be doing what God has you to do. And so love that lines in the song is, you know, you do what only you can do. Do what you can do. Like today, check yourself and say, God, what is it I'm supposed to be doing? What is it I'm supposed to be talking to? Who am I supposed to be around? I do that every single day. I talked abundantly blessed at the end of this week, and I talked a lot about praying in Ephesians. Sorry, so bumpy. <laughs> praying um, this for spiritual strength from the book of Ephesians. And so I just, I don't know. It's just something the Lord has been in my heart. And I'm like driving home, and I'm like, this is a grocery haul video discount store. But maybe someone watching this, this is going to be for you. And just so important to have your heart be connected to the Lord and just your whole heart. And trusting and believing in the things that he says will come to pass. But we have a job to do. And that is that we have to do what he tells us to do. You know what I mean? And so, and that might mean just be me running to a person at the grocery store and speaking kind words to them. And I don't know what that'll do. You know, I had a great conversation with the lady at the cashier and she was dealing with shoulder pain and she was real stiff. And I just asked her if her shoulder was hurting her and then she got to um, share some things. And so I got to, you know, tell her to pray for her, for her shoulder. And, you know, mine was really sore for a while. It's actually, after I was driving home, I'm like, my shoulder doesn't even hurt, Lord. I'm like, thank you for that. Because it was really, it was a struggle there for a little bit and it kind of, comes and goes a little bit, but doesn't even hurt actually at all right now, which is awesome. And so just having that, you know, just like acknowledging people's needs and people's, you know, people want that. Oh, Lauren, quit sending me messages. Lauren's having a cleaning party with the kids at her new place. She's got a new place. She's sending pictures. Don't mind the baby. So sorry. <laughs> so 
or not the mountains, nothing's gonna show. So just acknowledging people's needs and just being kind and being kind to humans to people, you know what I mean? And so look for those opportunities wherever you're at, whether it's in the grocery store, you know, sometimes it's, you know, maybe at the park if you can walk or, you know, might just be in your own home. And just constantly check them with yourself and your heart and say, Lord, how is my response? And, you know, the service, the message I was listening to today was so good. And it was really good about checking your heart. And it's so important to remember that when others, well, there's people out there to get you. There's people out there that are not kind to you. There are people out there looking to just defame you and your family. Or, you know, it might even be in your own home. It might be your husband. It might be your spouse. It might be your children. And they just coming at you in the Bible today it was it says Bible Jesus said bless those who curse you how easy is it when people get mean and negative to want to go back at them? it's so that's so nature right that's our so nature to be like you know I'm defending myself I gotta do these you know I get I get negative comments just like everybody else does and the more you the more subscribers you have the more negativity you get and so you know there was a time that I really focused oh ears popping hold on My goodness, we're going up that mountain, and those ears are popping. I love the trucks next to me. They got their blinkers on, or their hazards on. They're going slow. So, okay, so negative, and you get, you don't get that many. Out of, out of the 100,000 subscribers I have, I deal with, like, 10 people. And it's not even, I deal with them. They just like to write nasty things, and that's okay. People have their opinion to do that. I'm okay. Doing YouTube, you definitely got to have a thick, uh, some thick skin. But I think in life, you should have a thick skin to an extent to not be offended by that because... When your enemies come against you, whether it be through YouTube comments or whether it be through your spouse or through your children, the Bible says to bless those that curse you. And so how easy that you want to like defend yourself. Because I know I want to defend myself and be like, hey, you don't even know me or you don't even know my intentions and this and that. And I just want to be able to go back. But no more of that. No more of that. I want to be completely free in that. I want to be able to not be so like locked into that. Because all it is is the enemy coming to steal, kill, and destroy your family your ministry, your job, your employment, all those things. And so to stand firm and to say, no, I just, I'm sorry. And to bless them, I'll pray for you. I'm sorry you're in that place. I'm sorry that you feel that way. I can't change that, but a God can. So I'm going to pray for you in your situation, in your home, or whatever you got going on. Those are the words we should be speaking to people. And you can't get offended because people are so offended. Oh my goodness. I don't even do social media. I do. Like I have somebody else do my social media. So like through Facebook and Instagram, like just started because I have so many flowers. It's just another avenue to reach people. But I In don't. two miles, take exit one for North Carolina 225 Bob's Creek Road. Thank you. My phone. I'm going to be heading home. I thought I shut that off. I know how to get home from here. But anyways, and so um, just having that... I just know that there's so much negativity. If I start looking, I'm like, oh my goodness. So, and they're so positive, so positive, but you get that negative. And that is what the enemy, he doesn't even have to do that much to you. But if he can just get a little bit of thought in your head, you are so easy just to turn your ways and want to like turn your heart away from God. Don't do that. We don't want to do that. We want to stand firm. So my suggestion to you today would be if you're dealing with something like that, check your heart. Go to the Lord, repent, and say, hey, Lord, I don't want that. I want my heart to be whole with you because it is wiped clean. It's got covered by the blood of Jesus. And I don't have to be dealing with all this, right? You might have it in your home, but you don't have to let it affect you personally. And then go listen to those songs today. Keep your mind and your thoughts pure. That's the key. So constantly, I constantly listen to praise and worship music all of the time. I don't even throw in any worldly music. There's nothing Welcome wrong. to North Carolina. Thank you, my favorite place to be. Um, I don't even listen to worldly music, and it's not that it's bad. It's just that you're constantly singing those lines, and it's like I would much rather be singing praises to my Lord because that is what my life and I want my life to be. So that's my little tidbit for today. I don't know. Maybe someone's dealing with something they just need to learn to be to that they can be strong in Christ, and that God can just take care of all those things. Find those songs, Whole Heart by Passion, and um, even the Impossible by Mac Brown. Even the Impossible Mac Brown is his name. Brock. Mac Brock, not Mac Brown. I've got it in my In half a mile, take exit one for North Carolina to... I know where I live. All right, so I'm going to go home. I'm excited. This is going to be the video for the entire day. I'm just going to go home and do a grocery haul for you, and that's it. So I'll film a little bit later today. But it'll be a separate video because i got a few things going on this next couple weeks, and I need to, in order to get you another video, I'm going to have to kind of split up my filming. So I hope that you can be patient with that. So when you see me in probably tomorrow's video and I'm wearing the same thing, don't go, wow, you mean did you just wear the same clothes? Well, it's just
it's okay if you did. <laughs> but I'm gonna film two today, so just because I've got a lot going on, and so that way uh, you can get enough videos. So today is oh, turn you back. All right, today is also. Hold on a second. All right, today is also. I like to do the less stuff, more life. I feel like I haven't, I haven't done a specific video for less stuff, more life, but I like to throw it in there. And this week is going to be to challenge you to plan some simple meals. Now, yesterday's video would have been great to add it to. So, I'm so sorry, it's these mountain roads, people. Um, if you watch yesterday's video Monday, you'll see the, how I plan out my my menu for the month. And it was just simple. It was nothing. Uh, turn my take my glasses off. It's not very dark through here. Just simple and easy planning, and that's my challenge for you this week, is to plan out your meals for the month. Once you plan that out, it saves you a whole lot going to the grocery store. Like, I'm buying things, but I'm still way under budget. I'm super excited. Like, what Greg and I spent the last week, and that was stocking everything up, and I always spend more. Buying this is like $300, and then I'm actually gonna go today still and go get a few more things, which is just the fillers for the food so I can complete the meals that I have. Ooh, slide, let's see if I don't flip you. Let's hope I don't flip you. I need to get a holder for my camera up on my thing one of these days. One of these days. I don't usually talk too much in the driving. And so, um, just plan out some simple meals. Make a plan, make a menu. Simple. Like we had yesterday tacos and burgers and just simple kind of things. So that is my Less Stuff More Life challenge to you this week. You can get the book right below. It's free. Just download it. It gives you some suggestion for meals. All those good things. So, Alright, I'm going to head up on my driveway. The phone is probably going to flip because I have a really deep driveway. Here it goes. Alright, I'm going to see you in just like two minutes because i got to unload. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go out my driveway. It's a steep thing, and then um, I'm gonna be showing you everything I got today. All right, I just got home. I'm gonna talk to you when I'm doing it. Ooh, charge your battery. Unload all my groceries took me about 20 minutes. Usually it takes a little bit of time, but not bad at all today for doing it myself. So, all right, let me show you everything I got. I just mixed the stores together just so it's just easy for me to put away. So, let's start out. Let's do the table first, all our cold stuff. So, this is the day of trying things out. So. Monogram corn dogs for ten dollars. I feel like you should let's open these. Let's open this. Alright, so these are actual corn dogs, not even corn dog bites. The reason why they're oh, that's interesting. Is there even a name on them? There's not even a monogram. There's not even anything on them. They're basically corn dogs, ten dollars for a huge box. So I feel like that's a good deal. That'll go in the freezer. I got this because I like the California blend. This was, we saw these. These would be good for making something. I got strawberries there because they were out at Walmart when I was there. I got strawberries and berries. These stayed pretty frozen for being 100 degrees and broccoli. Got these. They look like Nathan's hot dogs for $3.99. So I got two of those. These are the fully cooked maple sausage bites. I think they were $1.99. There's the blueberry. Today's the day of trying. I would never buy blueberry muffins in a box. Hey, I'm going to try something new. And then these are a dollar. The lady said they're so good. It's sheet cake. It's yellow sheet cake. I'm going to freeze this up. We can decorate it. Whatever we want to do with it. Got a big box case of um, juice boxes. It was $5.59 for three of them. Four of them, actually. I think that's a good deal. These were two for $3. These were the Italian cooked beef meatballs with cheese for $16.99. Let me get... I got this for Pioneer Woman Beef and Brisket for $10. These are the egg bowls. I think one open. Look at This is Duncan Brands. Look at it. And that's what it is. For two dollars um yeah easy put it back in the freezer and then these are cream cheese whipped cream cheese for a dollar i'm gonna come around here i got more cheese because it was like 8.99 that's a really good deal for cheese i'll freeze it these were 5.59 we like this i'll we'll use them these i'll put in the freezer got some of these sweet potatoes because they're so big broccoli for 2.99 we'll eat that up uh, cabbage because it was cheap green onions because they were cheap these were a dollar each so i got those these were two for a dollar so we'll be using those for sure um, I got the salad for myself for later. This was like a dollar. I don't really need a ton, but it's got one box. The lemons were, I think, $1.99 or $2.99. have to look back in the video. Potatoes, not a big deal. It was just, I got a small bag. It's so tiny. There's the chocolate fudge pudding. I don't know if the kids will love it as much as I did. We'll see for $2.99. The $1.99 for the to um, tomato sauce. I got two of those, and the pizza sauce was $2.49. So these were two for a dollar. Mixed berries. I don't know. We'll try them. I got these for Jensen, two for a dollar. Got these for Jensen. He'll, uh, hey, we can try them. That's what works good. And these were three for seven. I like those. Got a thing of granola bars just to have some. These were two for three. Stephen's birthday's coming up. We can definitely use birthday cake cereal. This because I can make more Rice Krispies. Yes, my kids love ramen, especially not my older ones mostly, not my um, 
younger ones, the teenagers, and that's okay, they're teenagers. So it's like four, I think it was, is it three ninety nine dollars for all that, $4 for all that, but yeah, they love it, and they're like different noodles. So I got a beef and a chicken. These are the veggie full, let's open these. All right, so this, look at broccoli and cherry, but they were basically a dollar. They're six pack. no, it was actually less than a dollar, because they were five dollars, or six, it was six dollars a box, right? So there's six packages, I believe, in here. Three, four, five. Yep, six. That's okay, we'll try them. I mean, hey, I like veggies. I'll eat them. That works out. Okay, this is this table over here, so not bad for a little bit of money. These were a dollar. Like I said, they're Valentine's Day, but hey, my kids had them. We had them the last time, and they were totally fine. They got enough preservatives in there to, uh, you know, make them taste good. So, a dollar. They'll eat them as snacks. For roll-ups, I got that. Let me go. These are Jane's. Let me go on the other side, because that's where that's all set up. I got some of these. These were two for a dollar. Extreme Wellness High Fiber, that'll work. Lots of canned stuff, they're only 69 cents there. I know Aldi limits it, so I got more there. Green beans, because I don't have anything. Lima beans, because I like making a bean dip that I did have on my menu, but I might make it after seeing these. Kidney and butter beans, more garbanzo beans. This is molasses, some manwich, because that was 99 cents for name brand. Water chestnuts, I can never find water chestnuts, so I got some. And then I got pumpkin, six things of pumpkin. Got this natural bliss, it was two for a dollar. Um, We'll use that eventually. Here's some, look at I smushed my bread, Texas toast. This was already kind of squished before I got it, but I'll use this for um, French toast, which works really good. I got more of these because they were cheap. I have a little stash and I do enjoy those. So it's helping me drink some water. So they were two for a dollar for that one. Band-Aids for a dollar. Sprinkles, because they were two for a dollar for sprinkles. Somebody will have that. Coconut milk, because it was 99 cents. There's something on the bottom there, a wrapper. I got some of this. This is marinara sauce for a dollar. Because sometimes we make things with cheese and Jaden can't have them, so she's like, can I just open a jar of sauce? So I got four of those just to have. I did get a coffee, because I'm running low, so I just got some of this. We got these dressings for 79 cents, Mediterranean. This is the Five Sisters. I don't know if it'll be good or not. This is the sugar stuff. This is already, which is kind of nice, it's simple syrup. It's already done. You can mix with coffee, make like a cold coffee. This was 49 cents, so I got two to try. Um, this is $1.49 for soy sauce. These are a dollar, and I love these. I have three more, but I'm like, these taste so good in soup, and they're not gonna have them eventually, so we like them. Beans, baked beans for 79 cents. Elbow, or egg noodles that we use. Boxes of pasta, they're 59 cents because they're dented, and I don't care because I'll put them in a container. Penne, is that penne regatte? Regatte, I don't know, mini wheels. <laughs> some more shells here so this is the baking sweets so 99 cents for a brownie mixture I don't know we're gonna try these brittle mix but I know the kids really like them Greg likes them so we'll try them chocolate chip brownie and all that and this I don't ever buy spice mix ever I just had this and I just gave them all away because of the shrimp in them so the sweets are chicken general so chicken and fried rice we're gonna try it and then Lauren likes hollandaise sauce on their bagels and I do too so this is three for a dollar Hey, we'll try it. M&M's for $1.50. Got these for Jaden because they're vegan. These are vegan as well. Try them out. I'm going to try this because it was a dollar for grain bar snack. Hey, for a dollar, I can do that. Bunches of crunches, superfood granola. That should be good. And then these were four for a dollar. So you never can go around with box macaroni and cheese. So this is not bad for a discount store haul for we haven't gone in a long time. So I'm so glad I went. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's video here. I'm working on charging batteries because I need them today to film. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's grocery haul, discount store grocery haul, great deal, $300. Oh, wait, there's more. I got bread, I totally forgot this pile. Bread, buns, hot dogs, so they're 69 cents. I'll freeze these, these are basically like a Cheez-It, a whole case of them for $5, and these were $6 each, and those are the bags. There's three big bags of that mixture we use for the pool. All right, now I'm all done. <laughs> I was like, is there more? So this is good. So I hope you enjoyed today's video of going discount store, slowly shopping with me. I feel like that was probably the most relaxing time I've had grocery shopping. It was very, not that it's stress, but it's just busy and it was just very enjoyable. So I hope you enjoyed and got to come along and enjoy some, some little relaxing time shopping if you can't in your world. So that works out good and hopefully everything goes good with your day. And I remember less of more life, plan some simple meals today. I think that's it for Tuesday. All right, so I'm gonna go. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I'm gonna see you again tomorrow. Okay, bye.